The Book of Nehemiah, Chapter 3 Then Eliashiv the Kohen Hagadol set out with his fellow Kohanim, and they rebuilt the Sheep Gate. They consecrated it and set up its doors. They consecrated it as far as the Tower of the Hundred and on to the Tower of Hananel. Next to him the men from Jericho built. Next to him Zakur the son of Imri built. The son of Hasnaah rebuilt the fish gate. They installed its timber framework and set up its doors, along with its bolts and bars. Next to them Marimot, the son of Uriah, the son of Hakotz, made repairs. Next to them Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, the son of Meshizavel, made repairs. Next to them Tzadok, the son of Baana, made repairs. Next to them the men from Tekoa made repairs, but their nobles would not put their shoulders to the work of their lord. Yoyada, the son of P Paseach, and Meshulam, the son of Basodia, made repairs to the old city gate. They installed its timber framework and set up its doors, along with its bolts and bars. Next to them, Malatia, the Givoni, Yadon, the Meronoti, and the men from Givon, the territory from Gion, Givon and Mitzpah made repairs. They worked for the people associated with the governor of the territory beyond the Euphrates River. Next to them, Uziel, the son of Harhaya, gold, goldsmiths, made repairs. Next to him, Hananya, one of the perfume makers, made repairs. They renovated Yerushalayim as far as the broad wall. Next to them, Rephaya, the son of Hur, leader of half the district of Yerushalayim, made repairs. Next to him, Yadaya, the son of Harumaf, made repairs opposite his own house. Next to him, Hatush, the son of Hashavnia, made repairs. Malkia, the son of Harim, and Hashuv, the son of Pachat Moav, made repairs on another section and on the tower of the ovens. Next to him, Shalom, the son of Halochesh, leader of half the district of Yerushalayim, he and his daughters made repairs. Hanun and the people living in Zanoach repaired the valley gate. They rebuilt it and set up its doors, along with its bolts and bars, and they rebuilt 1,500 feet of the wall, as far as the dung gate. Malkia, the son of Rechav, leader of the district of Biet Hakerim, repaired the dung gate. He rebuilt it and set up its doors, along with its bolts and bars. Shalun, the son of Kol Jose, leader of the district of Mitzpah, repaired the fountain gate. He rebuilt it, covered it, and set up its doors, along with its bolts and bars. He also rebuilt the wall of the pool of Shelach by the royal garden, as far as the stairs that go down from the city of David. After him, Nehemiah, the son of Azbuk, leader of half the district of Beit Tezur, made repairs from the place opposite the tombs of David as far as the artificial pool and the soldiers' barracks. After him, the Leviim made repairs. Rehum, the son of Bani, next to him, Hashavaya, leader of half the district of Kiela, made repairs for his district. After him, their colleagues, Bavai, the son of Hinadad, leader of half the district of Kiela, made repairs. Next to him, Ezer, the son of Yeshua, leader of Mitzpah, made repairs on another section, opposite the ascent to the armory at the angle. After him, Baruch, the son of Zakai, worked diligently making repairs on another section, from the angle to the door of the house of Eliashiv, the Kohen Hagadol. After him, Meramot, the son of Uriah, made repairs on another section, from the door of the house of Eliashiv to the end of the house of Eliashiv. After him, the Kohen, Kohanim, from the plain, made repairs. After them, Binyamin and Hashuv made repairs opposite their house. After them, Azariah, the son of Maasiah, the son of Ananya, made repairs next to his house. After him, 
Binui, the son of Hinadad, repaired another section, from the house of Azariah to the angle and to the corner. Palal, the son of Uzai, made repairs opposite the angle and the tower that projects out from the upper part of the royal palace, near the courtyard of the guard. After him, Padaya, the son of Parosh, made repairs, since the temple servants were living in the Ophel, as far as opposite the water gate to the east, and the tower that projects out. After him, the men from Tekoa repaired another section, opposite the great tower that projects out and on to the wall of the Ophel. Above the horse gate, the Kohanim made repairs, each one opposite his own house. After them, to Zadok, the son of Immer, made repairs opposite his house. After him, Shemaiah, the son of Shekaniah, the keeper of the east gate, made repairs. After him, Hananiah, the son of Shelamiah, and Hanun, the sixth son of Tezalaf, made repairs on another section. After him, Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, made repairs opposite his own room. After him, Malkiah, one of the goldsmiths, made repairs as far as the house of the temple servants and merchants, opposite the mustering gate and on to the upper room at the corner. Finally, between the upper room at the corner and the sheep gate, the goldsmiths and merchants made repairs. But when Sanvalat heard that, they, that we were rebuilding the wall, he was furious. Greatly enraged, he ridiculed the Judeans. Before his kinsmen and the army of Shamran, he said, What are these pathetic Judeans doing? Are they going to rebuild anything they want? Are they going to sacrifice? Are they going to finish today? Are they going to recover useful stones from the piles of rubble? Burned rubble at that? Tovia the Ammoni was with him, and he said, Whatever they're building, why, if even a fox went up to it, if even a fox went up it, he'd knock their stone wall down. Our God, listen, we are being treated with contempt. Turn back their jeers on their own heads. Give them over to be plundered in a land of exile. Don't cover their guilt. Don't let their sin be wiped out from before you, because they have insulted the builders to their face. So we kept building the wall, which was soon joined together and completed to half its height all the way around, because the people worked with a will. End of Nehemiah, chapter 3.